If you own a Toyota truck or SUV that's been made in Japan, you've got one of the world's best jacks that you could ever have. Yes, your Toyota Lexus OEM jack is a Takeuchi <laughs> Japanese jack. Don't throw this thing out. Believe it or not, it costs $200 to $250 to replace this thing because it is one of the best jacks you can get despite the way it looks. To understand this jack, we have to talk about what it is not. It is not some cookie cutter, cheap Chinese made jack that they just found somewhere in an alleyway. <laughs> not at all. This is not a bottle jack in the sense of a hydraulic bottle jack that you see on eBay, Amazon, Harbor Freight, where there's a bunch of hydraulics and seals and you use a bar to jack it up. This is a mechanical worm gear, worm drive, worm wheel, worm gear, whatever you want to call it. It's a mechanical jack. It's not a hydraulic jack. There's no fluid in here. There's no seals to leak. There's no fluid to leak. It's a very robust, strong system. But best of all, it's made in Japan by Takeuchi, which is a Japanese heavy equipment manufacturer. In other words, construction equipment. They do excavators, they do skid steers, they do front loaders. They've been around for decades and they are one of the best heavy manufacturers of construction equipment in Japan and thus, of course, around the world. But it gets better than that. You're going to have a hard time finding a hydraulic jack or a mechanical jack or any jack that's genuinely made in Japan and up to Japanese build quality in the United States of America. What I'm trying to ramble here is you can't find a made in Japan jack uh, in America that you can easily buy. So before you go tossing this thing because you think it's some cheap jack, hold on, it's not. It's the polar opposite of that. Toyota put these things in their vehicles for a reason. They're rugged and they uh, adhere to three Toyota principles, the three principles of quality, durability, and reliability. This thing's quality, it's made in Japan, we already know that. It's durable, there's no hydraulics as mentioned, nothing to leak, it's all just mechanical, which gets into the reliability, which is, which is important when you're off-road. You don't want to go off-road You need and have a flat tire and realize that your hydraulic jack that's been sitting in the back of your car made in China, even though it looked flashy and had a bunch of purple stickers and graphics and nonsense all over it, you don't want to find out that that hydraulic jack blew its seals, melted its seals in your car, leaked down, and it doesn't work anymore. So there you are in the middle of nowhere, and you can't jack your car up to free yourself from a high center, change your tire, or whatever else you're using your jack for. That's where this thing shines. It's not going to break. There's nothing in this thing that can break. And that's why it's 200 bucks. Probably 250 when you add tax and shipping when it's all said and done. There's nothing in this thing to break. Now inside your jack is a bunch of heavy duty gears. Technically this jack is known as a spiral jack but inside is actually a set of bevel gears. 
just like you'd find inside of your differential. Whether you call it worm drive, bevel drive, spiral drive, helical drive, or anything else, the point is they're heavy duty gears, just like you'd find in your pinion gear and ring gear inside your differential. They're not Mickey Mouse gears, it's a robust solid system and it's rated to 3,970 pounds. Let's just round that up to 4,000 pounds or two tons. Now your GX, this GX behind me or Forerunner or any SUV uh, from Toyota is going to weigh maybe around 6,000 pounds at the most. But keep in mind, you're only going to be jacking up one corner at a time. It even shows you where to go. So each corner of a vehicle like this is only going to be 1,500 or 1,500 pounds, give or take. Even if you add crap and it's loaded up, it's got double the capacity per corner. Super, 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 super strong. So we love these jacks, and I wanted to uh, make a video about just how precious they are. If you're a Japophile like me <laughs> and love all things Japanese because of that high level of quality durability and reliability, you're going to want to keep this thing. And if you find one at a junkyard or on eBay and you're into jacks, grab one because these things don't break. They will last you a lifetime. No matter what hydraulic jack you get, that sucker is going to leak down, blow seals, and you're gonna to have to do a whole refresh kit. And worst of all, it seems like when you need a hydraulic jack the most, that's when it fails on you. Now this is not, the, the gearing in here is not like a scissor jack where you have basically a long screw and it's a screw drive and it moves the arms. It's not that system. Those things strip out, they're not strong, they're not robust, they always fail and they're super cheap. This thing is the real deal. So hold on to your jack. It will never let you down. This belongs in your Forerunner, in your GX, in your Land Cruiser, in any Toyota truck or SUV that's going off-road and you need to rely on this thing. Now, are there practical limitations? Obviously, we can see that the base is tiny here and you're going to have to work with that. Now, that can be a disadvantage or an advantage. It's an advantage when you need to get in tight spots and you don't need to jack the vehicle, but so high to get off of a high center. We've even placed this thing on a rock, just moving rocks around to get it to where we want. And you can stack whatever you want, do what you gotta do to make the base stable. Okay, just use common sense. You got four holes here. These four holes are to put a base on. So if you feel that you need to put a base on this and have it that way all the time, you can bolt on a base and make this thing wider. Well, you can also use what we have, a little portable jack bases, plastic or whatever. Put that underneath that and you're good to go. Or just plywood or whatever's laying around off-road. The point is, work with it and it'll work with you. But Mickey Mouse, it is not. This thing is a tank. This is the Land Cruiser of jacks, period. End of story. This thing will never die. If you found this video helpful, useful, and entertaining, please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you, and have a great, great day.